I never really found a way to properly do calendar syncing with my Google Calendar and Emacs, but recently I messed around with something and now I have one-way syncing from Google Calendar over to Emacs, which is just what I want. It might not be what you want, but for me it works perfectly. And this is how it is. So let me quickly show you my agenda because now I have a diary integration in it with appointment mode, which is a built-in package that reminds you of upcoming appointments. Now for the diary and appointment stuff, I won't go over the details of it. I'll simply link a video that Prop made. Uh, uh, she's known in the Emacs community, forgive me if I butcher that, but I'll put a link on it and you can watch it. This is just going to be an overview on how to add Google Calendar. I won't, like I said, I won't go over configuration for the other stuff. All right, so let me pull up my Google Calendar. And as you can see, I have diary integration enabled. So now, as you can see right now, it is 8.53 a.m. And I have church at 10 and then casual board games, I have band practice later, I have GTD focus, and I have headrest. So, you know, typical stuff that I need to do throughout uh, on this Sunday day. Now, what I wanna show is a diary file. So, for example, this is what I have in the diary file. I will not go over the syntax, like I said, go or watch over the video, but essentially I have everything enabled right here. So I have 12 week review, everything that you saw pretty much, I have rock climbing three times a week, chiropractor, things like that. Uh, so just things that I want that are repeated. So all these entries that you see up to here, so everything down here is not repeated. All of these are already repeated in my Google Calendar. So for the one way syncing though, what I have is I have, I made a Python script that simply scrapes my calendar, the, the ICS format or whatever it's called, and then looks one week ahead and whatever events are not repeated type, they will simply paste it in here, like here. So for example, Google append, this is just something you'll see in the script what the, why this is here. And then I just say, hey, on this day, I have to drop off the car. So I'm doing maintenance on the car and I'm just having an alert here. So I also have it in my Google Calendar and things like that so I won't forget. But it's nice to have also an Emacs in case I'm just deeply in focus and I forget to view the notifications that pop up in my OS. Okay, so let me show you the Python script that is doing all this. Now, for this, you're gonna have to do a couple things. You're gonna need to install a few third-party libraries. For example, I installed ICS, uh, Request, and Arrow, which are both third-party libraries. If you don't know about Python, then uh, you know a little bit of Googling might help you here, but I'm just gonna give an over, a brief overview of this because this is not a Python tutorial. Anyways, uh, so I have installed some third-party libraries. I get the URL for the Google Calendar, which if you Google um, how to do that, you'll quickly find out where to get that URL. Next, I pass in, I fetch that URL, and then I get the text version. So this will be the fo text format of whatever uh, ICS stuff, the syntax and all that will be there. And I simply pass it to this third-party library, and it takes care of converting it into a calendar object that I can interact. Now, what I'm doing is I'm getting ranges, so I'm getting the range for today at 12 a.m., and then I am getting the ranges for eight days later. So that way I have a fixed interval of events to fetch. Otherwise, I might be getting you know every event in existence from here up to God knows when, and I don't want that because that will take forever longer to process, and I just need the next eight days that are relevant to me because honestly, anything more than eight days, I really don't care about it unless it's something big. So anyways, I just have some logic here. So this little thing just simply says, hey, I don't want anything that is a repeating event, anything. So a repeating event is defined by having this RR rule. And if it is repeating, we just don't care about it. Otherwise, we are gonna care about the event because it's gonna be a one-off, like the dropping off the car event, and I'm gonna save it in good events. So some of the naming scheme could be better, but this is just a handy script. It doesn't have to be professionally managed or anything, amazing comments, you know, it's just throw it. It's just stuff that's good enough for you. So I don't really care how it reads or looks, as long as it works right now. Anyways, uh, next up, I have, I am doing some formatting. So I'm saying, okay, Let's see, I am saying let's format to the local and let's do this format so that diary understands it. And I am simply saying, hey, all right, now that we have the formats, I'm going to get the event name. Hence, we get this. This is what we end up getting. Now that we have all the events that we need, I'm going to loop over them. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open the file where the diary is located. I'm going to read all the lines. And now for each line that is not this little token, so, so hey, this is a special little token, which I will get to. For everything else before, I'm just gonna append all these entries into the list, into the all lines list. So I'm getting all the lines before. And then once I reach this token, 
I'm gonna break out of this out of reading all the lines and I'm just gonna go back to the beginning I'm gonna write all the lines previously and I am going to add the new ones as well so the formatted over here and then after that I'm just gonna close the file and live go on my merry way of course there are other ways to make this better like I said I just don't care this is what I quickly came up with and it works so feel free to use it or create your own version in whatever language you want okay so now that I have this file how am I gonna get it to sync well that's simple I use a simple little cron job to do the job so for example let's go into oops uh, you shall toggle ah, that works and then we shall do uh, let's see cron top uh, cron tab dash L and as you can see I have this job that's running every hour and saying hey I want to I want you to use this Python path executable and run this file so this is the original one this actually has the URL but this is just the exact copy minus the URL uh, modified so yeah feel free to do it this way personally I don't mind not being able not having Google Calendar to read things from diary because honestly Google Calendar is my source of truth for these things and also it syncs across all systems like I don't have Emacs on my phone I have Google Calendar and what not so that works a lot better for me. But yeah, let me know what you think and take care. Remember, knowledge grows when it is shared. Thanks.